Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make some sounds from the song Snooze for Love by Totters. So let's get right into it. And we're going to start with some hi-hats made with, um, with the RC. So it's here. I'm going to open it. The sound it's like this. Okay, and I'm going to turn off this equalizer and bring it back to the default patch. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is bring down oscillator 1 to 0, bring in to maximum, and master at 833. about here and noise at maximum and now let's go to the filter and on the filter we drop the cutoff to 470 but first we change it to a high pass to pull 470 like this now we go to the VCA that controls the volume and we raise velocity to maximum this means the higher the velocity the higher the volume And now for the first envelope generator, attack at 0, 0, 004, decay at 148, sustain at 0, 094, release at 300. On the second envelope, gen envelope generator, the one that modulates the cutoff filter with this amount, Decay at 230. Okay, about here. Sustain 400 and release 100. Finally, we go to the reverb and we raise the decay to 669. And the amount to 280. Okay, we have our hi-hats now. Let's go now to the bass, which is this sound. Okay, I'm going to turn on the equalizer here. Oh, it's already the equalizer here. So you can just see, just giving it a little bit of medium frequencies. Just a tiny bit. Here, the same thing. I'm going to Open it up, bring back the fault patch. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is raise master pre-gain oscillator 1 to 0 to maximum, envelope generator at 500, and I'll drop the cutoff to 152. Okay, like this. Now on the first envelope generator, Attack at zero, decay at 346. Sustain at 465. Release at 226. Okay. Oops, I was doing it the wrong on the, on the wrong envelope generator, sorry. So it's 346. Four six five and two two six. Now on the second, it's zero two thirty zero and one hundred. Okay, and we have our base. Now let's go to the main arpeggiator, which is this sound. With this nice K7D that we will get there in a second. Okay, so let's bring this back to the default patch. 
Okay, and on the amplifier, master at maximum, pregain at 800, oscillator one at 100, and let's change now the first oscillator to a square, like this, and now we go to the filter and raise a, an envelope generator to amount to 605, drop the cutoff to 578, Okay. Now we go to performance mode, change from poly to mono, and raise the portamento to 12 milliseconds, like this. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of portamento, very, very little. Now we go to the modulation page. This modulation page modulates the, the cutoff frequency, and we're going to raise the keyboard to 556. Five, this means the higher the note, the higher the cutoff frequency. Five, five, six, like this. Velocity, it's the same. The higher the velocity, the higher the cutoff filter uh, to one, six, one. Now we go to the VCA, and on the keyboard we raise it to 281. This means the higher the note, the higher the velocity, the, the volume of the sound. And this is 281, like this. Now let's go. <clears throat> to the first envelope generator that modulates the amplitude, this one, and decay at 281. Uh, sorry, 289. Sustain at 395. Okay. Release at 304. Now on envelope generator 2, decay at 202, 204 for sustain. Okay, could be 202 as well. Release at 250. Okay, like this. Finally, we go to the reverb and we raise the amount to 116. And decay at 771. Okay, like this. Now we let's go to the K70, and as you can see, we got 141 of feedback, 247 of dry wet, with a time of one eighth dotted. Very important on this delay is this high pass that it's working about 200 hertz. And we have ping pong on and stereo width at maximum. So it goes like this. 1.6, about 1.5 hertz. Like this. Okay. Now for the last sound, which is a pad. And goes like this. Okay, let's bring it back to the default. Okay, and first thing we're going to do is amplifier, oscillator, everything is okay. Just go to oscillator 2 and raise it to 735. Okay, like this. Now let's change um, first oscillator, oscillator one to a square wave. Change the pulse width to 616. Like this. Now second oscillator, drop one octave, square wave. And I'll detune it to 052. Like this. Okay, now envelope generator 2 controlling the cutoff filter, let's raise it to 568.
Okay, now let's drop the cutoff to 530. Okay, raise the resonance to 180. Now, envelope generator one, attack at 459. Decay at 500, sustain at 800, release at 405. Okay, now second envelope generator, attack at 669. Decay at 382. Sustain at 226 and release at 100. Finally, we go to the reverb, raise the amount to 621. And the decay to 771. And we have everything ready, so just bear with me a second while I get this ready for us to listen to the whole melody. Okay, bear with me just a second, sorry. Okay, I think we've got everything ready. I'm going to show you this because we have loads of automations that I will try and do my best to show you.
and this was it guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that we do these tutorials just to try and show you how versatile DRC really is and perhaps give you some clues and some inspiration for you to find inspiration to do your own sounds and use them in your own tracks. And I really like this song, so this is where it was really fun for me. And I hope to see you again next week, guys. So goodbye. <laughs>